Is this for real? According to a report by China News Service, on March 4, 2022, the world's first 1,000-ton-slash-year carbon dioxide hydrogenation to gasoline pilot plant, developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, successfully produced clean gasoline products that meet the National 6 standard in Shandong, China, s artificial gasoline a breakthrough or just a publicity stunt? Why hasn't it been widely promoted? What is its production capacity? When can it be commercialized? What is the current situation? Now, it's time for decryption. Let's together explore the development of China's synthetic petroleum. This technology has passed the evaluation of scientific achievements organized by the China Petroleum and Chemical Industry Federation in Shanghai. The expert panel unanimously agreed that this technological achievement is a global first and that the overall technology is at the international leading level, thus approving the evaluation of the scientific achievement. After seeing this technology, many netizens were excited. China has finally developed a cutting-edge technology that will address global issues such as greenhouse effects and petroleum scarcity. Greenhouse effects and energy problems have always been issues that have plagued global development and even the future of humanity. Especially for China, which consumes a vast amount of energy every year, the country heavily relies on oil imports. For example, in 2021, China imported over 510 million tons of crude oil, with a dependency rate of over 70%. The heavy reliance on oil imports creates uncertainties, and any disruption in oil transportation would have a significant impact on China as a whole. For decades, global scientists and researchers, including those from China, have been trying various methods to address the issues of greenhouse effects and energy problems in order to find solutions for the energy crisis. However, based on the current technological knowledge available to humankind, it is not realistically feasible to completely solve these problems in the short term. Nevertheless, if the technologies introduced by the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics can be successfully mass-produced in the future, they could indeed play a significant role in addressing greenhouse effects and energy problems. Let's first understand the basic information about this technology. In fact, this technology has been under research for some time and was initiated by the Dalian Institute of Chemical Physics as early as 2017. The research findings were published in Nature Communications in 2017, hailed as a breakthrough in CO2 catalytic transformation and selected as a research highlight by the journal Nature. This technology has gained recognition from authoritative journals worldwide. For the past few decades, humans have been searching for ways to solve the energy crisis. After years of research, we have indeed gained some methods for synthesizing gasoline. For example, Coal to oil conversion is currently a viable option, with China producing around 10 million tons of coal-based oil annually. Apart from technologies like coal to oil conversion, hydrogen energy has received increasing attention in recent years. Hydrogen energy applications are already quite widespread, with China having a significant number of hydrogen-powered vehicles, mainly in the transportation sector. However, Current hydrogen vehicles rely on hydrogen filling stations, and the cost of hydrogen refueling is relatively high, making it impractical for large-scale promotion. Nevertheless, in recent years, there have been claims from some manufacturers that they can directly generate hydrogen from water, allowing vehicles to run on water-based hydrogen fuel. Is it possible that carbon dioxide and hydrogen oil production is just another deceptive technology? similar to the idea of water to hydrogen conversion, first and foremost, it can be confirmed that carbon dioxide and hydrogen can indeed be used for oil refining. This is not a deceptive technology. However, currently, this technology is mostly limited to the experimental stage, and mass production is still a long way off. Even if it can be mass produced in the future, whether it can be widely promoted remains uncertain, with the key issue being the cost of raw materials. The primary raw materials for synthesizing gasoline from carbon dioxide and hydrogen are carbon dioxide and hydrogen themselves. These two substances have abundant reserves in nature. For example, carbon dioxide is ubiquitous in the air, emitted by many power plants, and also produced by vehicle emissions.As for hydrogen, 
it is even more abundant as it is a component of water, which is the largest global reserve. Therefore, hydrogen can be said to be virtually inexhaustible. However, the problem lies in the fact that both the preparation costs of carbon dioxide and hydrogen are relatively high. While carbon dioxide is abundant in the air, separating it from other substances and obtaining pure carbon dioxide incurs significant costs. The production cost of hydrogen is even higher, as it requires a large amount of energy during the manufacturing process. This is why hydrogen energy cannot be widely promoted at present, certainly, with the continuous advancement of technology, humans have already mastered the technology for large-scale hydrogen production, and the cost of hydrogen production is gradually decreasing. Moreover, some countries have developed technologies for large-scale hydrogen production using solar energy. If these technologies can be extensively promoted in the future, obtaining inexpensive hydrogen will become a reality. However, a question arises, if one day in the future, humans can truly master the technology for large-scale low-cost hydrogen production, it would be possible to directly use hydrogen to power vehicles, eliminating the need for generating carbon dioxide and achieving zero emissions. In that case, would it still be necessary to have an additional step of synthesizing gasoline from hydrogen and carbon dioxide? Therefore, the practical significance of the technology for synthesizing gasoline from carbon dioxide and hydrogen should be considered. Next, let's address the practical issues regarding the commercialization of the project. According to information available, the cost of carbon dioxide hydrogenation to produce gasoline by the Chinese Academy of Sciences is as low as 4,300 yuan per ton. So why hasn't it been widely promoted? As early as March of last year, there were reports that a technology company affiliated with the Chinese Academy of Sciences had developed this hydrogenation preparation method, and the annual production capacity has reached around 1,000 tons. However, this does not mean that it has entered full-scale commercial production. The purpose is to test the feasibility of industrial production, serving as a transitional phase between laboratory experiments and industrial-scale manufacturing, why isn't it being heavily promoted now? In fact, the so-called synthetic gasoline is not complicated in terms of basic principles. It involves mixing carbon dioxide and hydrogen gas in certain proportions and adding the multifunctional composite catalyst developed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Through a series of chemical reactions, it is possible to produce synthetic gasoline that meets the required specifications and has properties similar to refined gasoline. Of course, for chemical reactions, the catalyst is often the key component. The nature and functioning of this crucial catalyst are considered technical secrets of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, however, the promotion of this technology is hindered by cost, especially the catalyst itself, which requires research and preparation. Although the production cost of this type of synthetic gasoline is said to be only 4,300 yuan per ton, it only represents the basic cost. Once it enters the market, taxes and fees come into play. If value-added tax, consumption tax, and other taxes are added, the cost may reach nearly 7,000 yuan per ton. Moreover, like regular gasoline, synthetic gasoline also incurs increased costs in transportation, storage, and other aspects. Additionally, since it's a product for sale, each stage naturally seeks to make some profit. Considering these factors, it becomes difficult for synthetic gasoline to have a price advantage, even if the Chinese Academy of Sciences technology for synthetic gasoline becomes fully mature in the future, the challenge of cost reduction may still hinder its promotion. Is the research still meaningful? Currently, the price of finished oil in China is around 8,000 to 10,000 yuan per ton. This refers to the trading price of bulk crude oil, and the actual price faced at gas stations is certainly higher. However, Based on the current cost conditions of synthetic gasoline, in order to make a profit, the estimated selling price per ton would surpass 10,000 yuan, which offers no advantages. Even if the price can be on par with regular gasoline, there may still be issues during the promotion process, therefore, in the current stage where synthetic gasoline is still in the experimental phase, there is no significant promotion in the industry and consumer market.
even if the technology becomes fully mature in the future, it would require the entire process, including raw materials, processing, and applications, to be seamlessly connected in order to have the possibility of completely replacing regular gasoline. Of course, the issue of cost reduction needs to be addressed in this process. The reason why the government has not promoted synthetic gasoline as vigorously as it did with new energy vehicles is that, strictly speaking, synthetic gasoline cannot be considered a clean new energy source. It still produces carbon emissions when burned and does not fully comply with the current global requirements to reduce carbon emissions. However, this doesn't mean that carbon dioxide hydrogenation gasoline is useless. Currently, various types of new energy sources have not yet become mainstream, and as the most important foundation for industrial development, the petroleum industry is facing a situation of shrinking global reserves. This is particularly significant for China, which is a major oil importing country. Even if oil reserves are not depleted, China faces potential oil security risks due to international environmental influences. Synthetic gasoline can be regarded as an important transitional energy source. What do you think? Thank you for watching. See you next time. Next time.